Action News, Delaware Valley's leading news program, with Rob Jennings and Gary Papa. Good evening. Rob's on vacation. I'm Chris Wagner. Our top story tonight is a very difficult one to report. Jim O'Brien, our news anchor and weatherman, died today. Jim had two loves in life, broadcasting and skydiving. It was skydiving that took his life at 12.30 this afternoon in New Hanover Township, Montgomery County. Vernon Odom tells us how it happened. O'Brien's skydiving cohort said the fatal jump was the second of the day. O'Brien leaped from the plane at 8,500 feet. It was a dive by five members of the United Parachute Club. Witnesses say his main chute became entangled with a friend's, a man named Doug Sellex, at about 500 feet. Witnesses quoted Sellex as saying he shouted to O'Brien not to release the first chute, that they could make it with one working chute and survive. O'Brien either didn't hear him or decided the reserve chute was the way to go. He cut himself loose at about 100 feet, they say, too low to allow his reserve parachute to work. Here's what a witness, a fellow jumper, saw. He, um collided with another of the jumpers under the canopy. I didn't see that happen, but I turned a few seconds later and it was just, uh, as we say here in the sport, a, a bunch of garbage. The canopies were all entangled around them. And uh, I looked again and, and I saw someone have line stretch and then Jim cut away and it was too low and he hit the ground before his reserve couldn't get open. Well, the general feeling is um, that if he had not cut away, he probably would have been injured badly, but probably alive. O'Brien plunged to the ground in this plowed up area. He died within moments. Selleck's made it to the ground uninjured. Jim O'Brien's fatal jump was his 814th, dating back to August 1978 when he took up this sport. He got his parachute training right here at the United Parachute Club. Well, Jim was a, by, uh, by all means, an excellent uh, jumper. Uh, individual decisions made by jumpers in, uh, in emergency situations are difficult to uh, uh, comprise because they them themselves make that decision. Uh, he cut away at too low an altitude for a reserve parachute to open properly. Uh, he thought it would open, apparently uh, he didn't. He wasn't aware, apparently, of the altitude where he was when he did cut away. The Federal Aviation Administration will launch an investigation tomorrow. Vernon Odom, Channel 6 Action News, in Gilbertsville, Montgomery County. Jim O'Brien was born 43 years ago in Galveston, Texas, and grew up on a small farm outside of Houston. His broadcasting career began in college and took him from coast to coast as a radio DJ before landing him here in Philadelphia at WFIL Radio in 1970. So it's been 13 years since we all first met Jim, heard him on the radio, and after 1973, saw him here on Channel 6, hosting Dialing for Dollars, anchoring the noon news and the 5 o'clock news, cracking us all up doing the weather. But Jim O'Brien was involved in much more than just anchoring the news and forecasting the weather. His special reports on action news, as well as his duties for prime time, took him all over the Delaware Valley and all over the country. He covered everything from trouble on our highways to the very first launch of the space shuttle. He was also right there for some of our most memorable local events, such as the Pope's visit to Philadelphia. His commitment to the less fortunate was perhaps most visible in the heartfelt hours that he devoted to efforts such as the Jerry Lewis Telethon for muscular dystrophy. WPVI's Vice President and General Manager Larry Pollack expressed the feelings of all of us tonight when he said that Jim has been the lifeblood, the guts of Action News for more than a decade. More than that, said Pollack, he was the best friend many of us had. His relationship with the public and his friends and colleagues was extraordinary. There is no one like him. Perhaps no one knows that better than Jim Gardner. Tonight on Action News at 6 o'clock, Jim joined us here in the studio to share some of his thoughts and feelings about his friend. Well, because Jim and I usually did most of our philosophizing in the few minutes before a newscast. And it was just Friday night when we were talking about what proved to be a false rumor about the imminent death of a relatively young public official in Philadelphia. The conversation prompted Jim to say, Jim, don't waste time. Get the most out of life that you can and do it now. He said, you just don't know what fate has in store for you. And that was less than 48 hours ago. That was Jim's credo. Get the most that you can out of life. And he did. But in truth, there are many other people who also feel that way. But most of them do much more taking than they do giving. Jim was special because as much as he took from life, he gave back much more. 
Gary Papa mentioned to me today that there are so many people here at Action News who are deeply indebted to Jim O'Brien, and of course, I am one of them. He gave us his energy, his good spirit, his guidance, and his love. One thing he could not give us was his instinctive and extraordinary talent, but we all benefited from our exposure to it. Jim O'Brien's death today is a profound loss to Channel 6. For me, it is an incalculable personal loss, but perhaps just as significantly, his death is an indescribable loss to all of you. The question most often asked of me over the last years has been, what is Jim O'Brien really like? Is he really as wild and funny as he seems? Well, if the truth be known, of course, Jim had the ability to make us all laugh, and he did that with great regularity. But the fact is that Jim O'Brien was the most intensely serious and driven person I have ever known, committed to the excellence of his work, the success of this organization, and committed to those things in life that he felt were important. And as far as I am concerned, that is the legacy that Jim O'Brien has left. Many of us here feel that Action News has been something of a family. We also recognize that someone like Jim has, in a very definite way, been a part of your family. Most of you have never met him personally, but many of you will shed some tears tonight. Undoubtedly, many of you already have. We certainly will understand if you do. There have been many tears spilled here at Channel 6, and there will be many more. Jim, we will miss you more than you could ever know. Action news have been ringing all night. So many of you calling to find out if it's really true, calling to share your grief at Jim O'Brien's death. I guess it's a measure of who he was that you're calling here tonight, the way you'd call a friend's home to express your condolences. For in many ways, Action News was Jim's home. We and you, all part of his family. His overriding concern in life was to do his job well. And what he meant by that was connecting with you in a way that made him real to you. And he was real. He made you kick the TV in anger sometimes. Sometimes he made you double over with laughter, just as he did for us. To those of us on this side of the camera, Jim was an example, an encourager, always first in line with a hug or a word of appreciation for a job well done. We've said a lot of words about Jim tonight, but none of them really are adequate to express the personal loss that we all feel here. There's a hole in our newsroom tonight, and it's a hole that will never be filled. Jim was more than a co-worker. He was more even than the cohesive force that bound us all together. He was a friend, a cherished friend. And we, like you, will miss him very much. Now for all of us here at Action News, I'm Chris Wagner. Good night.